in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the place that Jesus was crucified, died, they purified his body, bury him, and he actually resurrected three days later. But this is the main entrance to the church. Shlomo and I, we saw another entrance to the church that the Muslims actually closed. When the Muslims controlled that place, they, in a way, um, is it 12 o'clock, Demis? Well, I then I won't be able not to talk. Um, and in a way, uh, they sealed most of the entrances. For example, that was one of the entrances that Salah didn't say no, not anymore. That used to be another entrance to the church, straight to the Golgotha, not anymore. The only way to enter was through there. But because it was controlled by the Muslims, you have to pay a lot of money to go in and out. Until today, the two Muslims' families are opening the gate. There was a time that the Muslims didn't let the Christians to go in. And I want to show you something. There is a very important um, ceremony it's called the Holy Fire. The Holy Fire is a fire that goes straight from Jesus, straight to the tomb of Jesus. But when the doors were closed, they couldn't do that. Then according to tradition, the miracle happened there. Then the Holy Fire actually went out from there. Until today, you can see that the Greek Orthodox will add some notes here, just like the Western Wall. And people will pray here. Look at the graffiti. That is a symbol of the church. You can see the Golgotha and the cross above it. There are a lot of it like that and a lot of graffiti, but the most important graffiti is there from 1389, a crusader one. See, uh, until today, the Greek Orthodox or uh, Russians so until today will pray in that area. We enter into the church at the same hour that Jesus was crucified. Church of the Holy Sepulchre. That door is still opened by two Muslim families in morning time and in evening time. It's November 2nd or 3rd? 2nd, 2020, COVID time.